As Ukraine is queuing to become a member of NATO, the Hungarian Deputy Parliament Speaker has said the alliance uh, should only approve Kiev's bid if Russia endorses it. Well, let's cross live now to the Hungarian Deputy Parliament Speaker, Dora Duro. Pleasure to have you on RT today, Dora Duro. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, your remark about the possibility of uh, Ukraine joining NATO only with Moscow's approval was certainly interesting. What was your thinking behind it? Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, yes, uh, my party and me believe that the uh, accession of Ukraine to NATO poses uh, a huge threat to the international security environment. Uh, this could only happen without the risk of further escalation if both the USA and Russia reach an agreement on this issue. Mm -hmm. Of course, an agreement uh, must be made which would mean the end of the war and could clarify uh, all the disputed questions. We should make it clear that the most important issue is to regain peace, which should have priority. But Ukraine's officials are talking about such absurdities as the elimination of Russia. This is going, not going to uh, happen. So we have to take uh, reality into account. Russia is a huge empire on the borders of the European Union and the NATO, and it will remain after the war as well. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you think the chances are of Moscow ever giving the green light to Ukraine's NATO membership? They would seem extremely small. Of course, this scenario seems unlikely now, uh, as both sides uh, believe that they can win this war on the battlefield. Uh, Ukraine's total defeat has not happened so far only because of uh, the uh, Western military supplies. So we cannot assess Ukraine as an independent uh, uh, actor, but uh, a belligerent participant of uh, proxy war between the USA and uh, Russia. Unfortunately, I must say that European, Europe subordinates its uh, own interest to US interests and the Ukraine cannot see the reality. Mm -hmm. So the agreement is a long way off and the U.S. policy uh, is not helping to bring us uh, any closer. So just staying with the topic of NATO, how do you assess the chances of Ukraine ever actually becoming a member of the alliance? We consider the possibility of Ukraine joining NATO to be out of the question. It is absolutely certain that my party and uh, uh, that my party, when it comes to vote, uh, will reject this initiative. Uh, furthermore, uh, as long as Ukraine's borders are disputed and an armed conflict is ongoing, NATO's own provisions rule out the uh, joining of Ukraine to the NATO. But even if this obstacle was removed, uh, we would still not be able to support the enlargement uh, because minority rights are constantly being violated in Ukraine, which is totally unacceptable for us. Mm -hmm. Until the Ukrainian government removes Hungarian monuments, flags and texts, and ban uh, the use of the Hungarian language in everyday life, including education and uh, public administration, and uh, terrorizes the leaders of the Hungarian community in Transcarpathia, our party cannot see any chance of supporting U Ukraine's uh, uh, accession to any international organization. Mm -hmm. In theory, uh, do you think that NATO membership would make Ukraine safer or raise the risk of a further serious conflict? Well, the risk of the war spreading is the greatest threat facing Europe today. And as I see it, that uh, the NATO membership of Ukraine uh, would be the next step to a nuclear war. We don't understand why uh, we should risk the security of Hungary and Europe for one of the most corrupt, dysfunctional states in the world, a state uh, 
that oppresses its own minorities. It is a priority for Hungary to stay out of this war and end the conflict immediately. If the price of the peace is that Ukraine has to give up the territories where Russian-speaking people who want to belong to Russia live, it must be accepted. Ukraine must also be made interested in peace. But uh, as the media personality Tucker Carlson said, it is pretty clear that Zelensky has no interest in freedom and democracy. There is no hope to uh, solve the issue. Mm -hmm. I must say that also the West is uh, highly responsible for the escalation of the uh, situation. Since the events of uh, Maidan, many actions have been taken uh, to further inflame uh, tensions. So instead of provoking Russia with providing Ukraine with tons of weapons, they should encourage or push uh, Ukraine and Russia to go back to the negotiating table. And several high profile uh, international uh, public figures such as uh, Henry Kissinger, Jürgen Habermas or John J. Mersheimer have warned for the need of a more measured stance on the conflict with regard to international stability and own uh, national interests. Mm -hmm. Now, now you've touched on this already in your previous answer. Now, Budapest has raised concerns about Ukraine's treatment of ethnic Hungarians and has said that the situation must improve for Kiev to join the EU and, and NATO, you said. Now, do you think Kiev has addressed Hungary's concerns? Kiev uh, does not seem in, uh, indifferent only to Budapest's concerns, but the Ukrainian leadership is reluctant to guarantee even the most basic uh, uh, minority rights to Hungarians, Romanians, Russians and other minorities in Ukraine, and is even trying to restrict their existing rights, especially in uh, the area of uh, language use. Kyiv's anti-minority measures have clearly contributed to provoking the war. They feel the support of the USA, and for them, it's not important uh, what the uh, real situation of the Hungarian minority is. Uh, and unfortunately, the double standards of the US and the EU uh, are clear, and this makes uh, their policy uh, discredited. Mm -hmm. A Hungarian human rights watchdog NGO called National Legal Defense Service uh, have observed and documented the violations of Hungarians' rights living in subcarpathian sub area in many uh, cases. Uh, their 50-page long report uh, came to the conclusion of Ukraine severely violating the rights of indigenous Hungarians living in Subcarpathia, both in regard to their ethnic minority rights and their personal and communal rights. Now, finally, I just want to get your thoughts on one last thing, Dor, if I may. Uh, Jens Stoltenberg said in a statement that all members of the NATO alliance must accept that Ukraine's future is within the military bloc. Now, where does that leave member states who have their own different opinions to that? The NATO is a military and political alliance with consensus making, decision making. So if there is a really strong pressure from the leaders of the alliance, the member states has their own uh, uh, opinion and they ha have to give their approval. In the whole conflict, uh, the subordination of European interests to US interests uh, is not only manifested in NATO, but also in the EU. Unfortunately, e Europe is now losing Russia as uh, one of its most important export markets and uh, one of its most reliable suppliers of uh, uh, cheap energy and raw materials, without which its competitiveness in the world market will be severely damaged. Uh, this certainly cannot be Europe's interest. So. Uh, a strategic rethink is needed uh, and an autonomous European position that does not subordinate itself to US interests 
So the primary interest of uh, Europe is peace, bringing the boring parties to the negotiating table and reaching an agreement. Mm -hmm. Well, Dora Duro, Hungarian Deputy Parliament Speaker, thanks very much for finding the time to speak to us today on RT and for sharing your thoughts with us on the situation in Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.